Prosecutors say they need more time to notify victims and families of an impending release. Meantime, the state faced with the rapid spread of COVID-19 behind bars. This spreadsheet lists nearly 170 names of inmates who are currently behind bars for serious crimes in Wayne County. Some convictions include armed robbery, child sex abuse, even murder. But these names on paper have served their time for the crime, and the state parole board says they should be set free. All we are saying is that we want to find the victim. On the other hand, Wayne County Prosecutor Kim Worthy says her office needs more time to contact and notify victims in these cases and that these inmates will be released. We have a, a moral responsibility, an ethical responsibility, a just responsibility to notify these victims that these defendants are getting out. Due to the coronavirus pandemic, the Michigan Department of Corrections has issued waivers like this one asking prosecutors to approve the release of an inmate who's eligible for parole. Normally, there's a 28-day appeal period. Chris Gotts is a spokesman for the state's corrections department. This is an individual who we have decided uh, to parole. We don't believe this individual will be a danger to society. Um, there are no registered victims in this case. He says they are trying to speed up the process with a waiver to respond to the COVID-19 crisis, and prosecutors can deny, approve, or ignore the request. Regardless, these inmates will be released in 28 days without a prosecutor's appeal. When we go to that parole uh, decision and we look to uh, see if there's a registered victim, if no one has, has said that they are a victim of this crime, then we don't have anything to send to anyone. So far, a total of 772 letters were sent out, 309 waivers were granted, 148 denied. And the state says each inmate will receive a COVID-19 test before they are released. Victims of crimes can register with the prosecutor's office. You can find a link on our website, WXYZ.com. You can also view a full list of the inmates that could be granted an expedited release. In Detroit, I'm Rudy Harper, 7 Action News.